Welcome to Sonic for Zombie Control. I'm Doc Holliday. I'm going to show you how to get the Golden Spork. It's a melee weapon that's a one stab kill to level 35. First, you want to get Hell's Retriever. You can watch my video on how to get Hell's Retriever by selecting the link in the bottom left hand corner. Next, you want to build and fly the plane over to the Golden Gate Bridge. You cannot start any of the other steps until you've done these two things. I have links below on how to do this in both multiplayer and solo. You're also going to need to equip and upgrade the Blunder Gat. Upgrade the Blunder Gat by using the Asset Gat Kit. There are several steps that you can complete without having this weapon, but you can also do this while you're opening Hell's Retriever and building the plane. Your Blunder Gat will become the Asset Gat. You can also upgrade the acid gad in the pack a punch machine in order to make it stronger. I forgot to zap the spoon. In order to zap the spoon, we're going to have to make the portal by putting our tomahawk through a poster. This poster can be found outside the warden's office in the cell blocks. When looking down this hallway, the warden's office is on your right. One of the possible key locations is up on the left. The poster is inside a cell block on the bottom floor on the right hand side. When you find the poster, you're going to throw your tomahawk into the center of it. It's going to create a hole, and you'll see an eye where the portal is. And then you go over and put yourself into afterlife. A portal will appear to the left of the afterlife box. Enter the portal, look for a spoon. It should be on the ground next to the crack. Once you find the spoon, zap it with electricity. Once you've done this correctly, you'll hear this sound. Now you can go back and revive yourself and get ready for the next step. The next step is going to be to hit the spoon. The spoon is now on a table inside of a window in the cafeteria. It's important to remember that you can't bend the spoon. That would be impossible. Instead you have to remember there is no spoon. Well actually there is a spoon. It's back here on the table. You can see it right there. You have to hit it with your tomahawk. Once you hit it, you'll hear this. So now we're going to go upstairs to the infirmary and we're going to stir the bloodbath. Went the wrong way for a second here. It's a bath that's by itself. These are double baths, so these wouldn't be the right ones. Uh, it's a room right behind there. Press X and hold it, you'll see a spoon start to stir, and it will go back into the bath when you're done. Now you can go on to the next step. Now it's time to kill some zombies. We're going to go to the showers, and we're going to use the acid cat. I, up I upgrade the acid cat in order to make this even easier. Uh, it's not very difficult. You just Keep on running your train around and killing zombies. This takes between one to two rounds, depending on how many zombies you get in this room. I prefer to be in here by myself. Uh, if other players are in here, they might be killing a lot of the zombies and it would take longer. With the upgraded acid gat, uh, the projectiles actually attract the zombies. When you shoot them, they'll stop. You'll want to be listening for the voice. And once again, when you complete this, you'll hear the laughing sound like this. <laughs> the tub of the infirmary and press your action button. A hand will pop out of the tub holding the golden spork. Press your action button again to pick it up. After a player has completed this, the other players can also get the golden spork by just following two of the steps. Throw the flame and tomahawk at the spoon and then stir the bathtub. Thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and go to the Center for Zombie Control. I'll return the Maybe.